Welcome back students, this is your Chendu Gaud. In today's video, I am going to discuss with you all few important concepts as well as the questions for the course Digital Signal Processing DSP under j 2 hr 18 as well as R16 regulation. The course DSP is to lengthen its structure by analyzing the previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of j 2 hr I have taken into consideration only few concepts where those are the gunshot questions which I am going to let you know. Please do work out accordingly as it is all about derivations as well as certain part of theory and problems also there in this course. In order to pass this course, you are supposed to work out all the concepts which I am going to let you know in this video. The first and foremost gunshot question I can let you all know this is the discrete and time systems and its classification may be the 8 mark question. Later, LTI system, its properties and the conditions of the stability and casualty is also one of the gunshot question for this time in your question paper. Later, the frequency response of the following casual systems for a given equation or relation. Sometimes they are asking such type of problems and to derive that. Later, endpoint DFT uh, using linearity property or 8 point DFT using DIF radix to FFT is also one of the gunshot question. From these two concepts, you may be getting any one question. Later, they represent discrete time signal and systems in frequency domain for find a given system are stable or not. This is also asked many times. Dear students, I have taken into consideration only few questions for the course DSP. Later, obtain cascade realization for a given system functions or find the impulse response of a system. Make sure to work out all these concepts. Later, a multi-rate signal processing and its application. I mean, from here to here, you may be getting one question. I mean, one A, one B. As I told, the course is too lengthy in its cross structure. They may be asking any point till here. Later, the multi-rate signal processing and its applications, as well as the concept of MRSP and the need for M multi-stage implementation of sampling rate converters is also one of the gunshot question. From this concept, you'll be getting one question for sure, dear students. Later, how sampling rate can be decreased by a factor of D described with a mathematical equation. Later, interpolation versus decimation is an example. With the help of examples, you need to differentiate this. Determine input-output relation of a factor of two up sampler in frequency domain. From these concepts, you will be getting two second question that is nothing but 2A as well as 2B students. In order to, as the, as the unit one is too lengthy in its structure, you are supposed to work out these all things without skipping any one, any part to score 30 marks. As per the COVID pattern, we know that eight questions will be asked of which you are supposed to answer any five. Later, look at the third and the fourth question, properties of DFS and what are the different properties like time reversal as well as time shifting as well as convolution. Later, discrete Fourier series, state and pro and the properties is gunshot question for this time. This may be the third question. Digital and analog frequencies in bilinear transformation related to bilinear transformation. You are supposed to work out for sure. Yesterday, we will be getting a derivation to derive or the problems related to bilinear transformation transformation is also one of the gunshot question. Butterfly diagram for DIT FFT algorithm is also one of the very very important and gunshot question as even from the second unit you are going to get 30 marks I mean two questions. Pole locations of a six order Butterworth uh, filter and the problems bilinear transform versus impulse variant method is also one of the very very important equation which may be asked for seven mark differences between analog filters versus digital filters and how can we calculate idft using fft algorithm is also a general question is asked many times state and row circular shift of a sequence from this concept dear students you'll be getting for sure 30 marks i mean the question two and three work out accordingly to score better mark and pass this course in the first attempt later the remaining unit is all about the determine h of z using impulse variant load bilinear transform method for a given analog transfer function is also one of the gunshot question even from the third unit we are going to get 30 marks dear students and the differences between iir as well as fir filters and the design procedure of the fir filter is asked many times later design a Chepzi filter, digital low pass filter is also one of the very very important and gunshot question. Prove that for a linear phase, FIR filter, the impulse response is symmetric is also asked many times. I have taken into consideration only repeatedly asked questions dear students in the previous year question paper. Later, type 2 frequency sampling method of designing FIR digital filter and design a band pass filter using Hanning window function. The question may be from Hanning window as well as Blackman window is also one of the two important questions from these two concepts you'll be getting any one. 
later the differences between form one as well as uh, ca canonical form the differences is asked i have done how to take a question paper how to write a theory paper in jnth to score a better mark a video is uploaded in this please do watch it and work out accordingly later direct form one and form two is also one of the gunshot question this type of questions will be getting for sure this time and they realize the following system equation this unit this subject is all about they'll be giving certain equations and they'll ask you to work out later quotient quant quantization of iar filters and round off noise in iar digital filters is also one of the important Important question with respect to its effects later various structures of IAR filter and the diagram of this and explain limit cycle oscillators due to product product round off of over four errors is also one of the gunshot question methods of scaling to prevent overflow limit cycle oscillations and fixed point quantization errors and floating point quantization errors is also one of the very very important question later the last question i have for this uh, course i am leaving you is that determine the z's transform and the roc of the following signals when the signal this equation is given or discrete time signal for the z transform signals this is also one of the very very important and gunshot question dear students please do work out from these concepts which i have covered here you are going to get the remaining five four questions i mean the first four questions will be from the first two units and the remaining four questions will be covered from third fourth as well as fifth unit please do work out these questions to get out of out mark and do not uh, try to uh, work out only few points which i have told you need to work out each and every concepts to get a good mark in this course dsp hope you are liking my videos as well as please do subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends hope you will do well good luck and god bless you all and do not forget to subscribe and if you are looking for any course please do comment in the comment section thank you good luck and god bless you all